Hey everybody, we are so happy that you joined us today because we are going to make a turkey. Ding ding, uh -huh. I put a lot of that on that. You did, I'm so proud. So of I you. can bake the whole thing. Yes. And hey, look at that leg. I know. Yeah. That's the way a turkey looks before you cook it. So I thought it'd be fun if we cooked a turkey together for Thanksgiving. So what do you think? Good idea? Good idea. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you do is thaw your turkey. Now this tur <laughs> this turkey, and this is what I do. I save the uh, poundage. Just a second. And the um, instructions on how to cook it, just because even though I know, I just I don't know it's crunch or something. But anyway, I like to do that. And then whenever you turn your oven on, remember to take out. The top, um, the top, what do you call this, Nico? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> rack. Oh, that's rack, rack. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, this is, this and is. put the lower one where it needs to be so that the top doesn't, um, the breast of your turkey doesn't touch the top of the oven. And then I'll tell y'all, this took longer to thaw than it said it would. So just be, you can... Make sure that it thaws. Mm -hmm. I actually put mine in some cold water for a little while and it thawed, but you do need to start out with it thawed all the way through, okay? okay. Does that sound like fun? Okay. <laughs> all right, so first we're gonna, you know, we don't think about this much, but we're going to season the bottom of the turkey because we always think about- Can, we, can I paint it? You can. Right now? Yeah. We always think about um, seasoning the top, but we very seldom think about seasoning the bottom. But you need to because it's got all that yummy um, skin and you'll eat this meat. So um, just think about seasoning the bottom as well. We had we went to church last night because Nico ha had his music program. So it was so much fun, wasn't it, baby? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the inside of the wing of the turkey. You did? Okay. So we've got the bottom done. And now we're going to turn it over and make and sure. And do the butt. Well, that's not, that's the, that's the top of the turkey. So, um, you need to spread it again. Spread all your yummy seasoning. And this is butter and Miss Dana's Dana Dash. It's a Creole seasoning. So this was two sticks of butter. You got it? And about four tablespoons of Dana Dash because you want it very well seasoned. And um, I was going to tell y'all, I got this turkey at Publix and they were 29 cents a pound. <laughs> the turkeys are this week. So um, it was just like $5, which is just unheard of. I wish I had a big old freezer. I'd buy more than one, but I, I, I don't. So here we go. So we have... Spread all this on our turkey. Can I paint? You can't. Go ahead and paint. I'm going to wash my hands. Hey, everybody. We've had a little bit of a rough time <laughs> because we had to wash hands and all that. So, anyway, but we what we did was we painted the entire turkey with butter and a Dana Dash. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the um, things that we want to put inside the turkey inside the turkey. So okay, all of this, and I don't touch the turkey. Can you do it without touching? I'm going to. Oh, you want to use a spoon? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is use a spoon so he doesn't have to touch it. And I have, wait, you know what? Some of this does not go in. This is actually for the bed. I'll show you, baby. Just a second, just a second. Please. I put it inside. I know. Here's what we put inside. This. Just this, put it inside. Okay, can you put that in? Now I, you can do I the whole thing. I'm going to slice it first. Can I slice it? That's it? There you go. So whenever we cook it, I am really pushing it with this size pan, I but um, I got the wrong size pan, basically. I could put it, I could use a, a cookie sheet, but it the juices would run over. So I'm going to make this fit. And the first thing you do is put 
a half an onion inside the cavity. You want to put this in? You can touch this. I don't want to. Okay, well, here, let me put it on your spin. There. So big. It is big. Let me do it. Okay. There. And then we're going to put a celery stick inside the cavity. Now, um, wait, baby, that goes in a different place, and I'll show you in just a minute. Put this in. Put this in, please, inside the cavity. Why? Why do I have to put it inside the cavity? Because it's going to make it so yummy. And then we're going to put some thyme. Like that inside. A whole stick of butter inside. Uh, and then some time. I'll do that. I'll do that with the spoon. Okay. And put it inside. Did you pick it? Your mommy did. She grew it. <laughs> Charlotte's got a great garden, y'all. I'm so proud of her. Mama grew. Yeah. Mama brought it. So this is our baking dish. And what I did was I put two of these pans together. And then I put, I just kind of cut up an onion roughly and some celery. Okay, just a second, please. And then we're going to put it on this baking sheet. And then we're going to move our turkey to it. And I'll show you. I'm just going to have to kind of stuff it in there. Um, but I, I did test it and it will work. So this is, um, see, it worked. It works because... Amy, why are you putting it inside it? Why are you putting that turkey inside of it? Well, because I want it to... I want to capture all the juices. So we're going to make sure that we have used all of our butter and Cajun seasoning. And um, you did a great job, baby. Thank uh, you. Um, I say no more butter in that bowl. No, because we used it inside, remember? We used all of it. We did. So this is going to be yummy, y'all. Ding, ding, can um, I go and play? You can. Thank okay. you for helping me and giving me a kiss. Thank oh, thank you, baby. I, I'm going to go play outside. Well, you have to wait for me for that. Oh, ding, ding. Can I do that for inside when I want to wait? Okay, y'all. So hard. basically, we took our turkey, we thawed it out, dried it off, then seasoned it on the bottom Two, flipped it over, put it on a bed of onions and celery, rubbed our seasoning, which is butter, salt, very softened butter, and Dana Dash seasoning. And then we put inside the cavity, cut up onions, cut up celery, a stick of butter, and thyme. And then we're going to cook it according to the directions. I think it's going to cook in about two and a half hours, actually, two and a half to three. But use a meat thermometer and put it right in between the leg and the breast right there. It should register 165. Now, if it registers 160, I think you could probably tint it, tint it and take it out because it'll cook a little bit longer. And that's well done. And you want your poultry well done. In fact, I'm going to tint it, put a little um, tin foil over it to start cooking. And I'm telling y'all, you know, you can use tin foil or not. It's up to you. But um, if you have the, I have a great Magnolite bacon dish, but it was too big. I usually get like a really big turkey, and it was just a little bit too big. But anyway, this is going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. Super simple. Don't be afraid of cooking a turkey. It's so easy. It feeds a lot of people. After we eat it, for, for whenever we do serve it, um... I'll make turkey gumbo, so it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> so anyway, I'll put it in the oven, and we'll see you in a few hours. Hey, y'all, I realized that I told y'all to tint it, but I did not tell you what that meant. So what it means is taking, if you have a pan that you don't have a lid for, but you want it covered. So what happens when it covers is that it steams some too, and... Um, so the skin won't get as brown and crisp as you want it. So this is what you do. If you want to tin it, take some tin foil, fix the tin foil, and just make a tent over it. Now, I, whenever I'm cooking, cooking turkey, I don't usually cover the ends and make it really tight. I just want it to be covered lightly. So at the end, I will take the tin foil off and cook it for 
the last 30 minutes so it'll make the skin nice and brown. So ding, here we ding, go. Ding, 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 ding. What ding, ding, cubes. Okay, y'all, so here is our turkey. And it's a Cajun turkey. We made it today. We rubbed it down with the softened butter and Dana Dash, stuffed it with onion, celery, thyme, and a whole stick of butter. And we think it looks beautiful. And um, anyway, it's a small turkey, but it's perfect for our family. I say it's small. Yeah, getting it's a snack. And Nico's getting a snack. What are you getting? What is that? Vanilla favors. Yeah. Can you say that one more time? Vanilla favors. Vanilla favors. They're so good. Mm. So I tinted it until the last 30 minutes of cooking. Mm. And now I'm going to tint it again and let it sit for about 20 minutes before we carve it. But mm. we've had a lot of fun and this turkey smells divine. So I hope you try our Cajun turkey. Check out our video. Bon appetit, y'all. And happy Thanksgiving. Can you tell everybody? Can you turn around and tell everybody? Bon appetit. With mouth with a mouthful of vanilla wafers. I love you. Oh my goodness! I love you so much. Oh my goodness! Squeezy hug. Oh, that mom is doing there. It's, it was the temperatures the thermometer to tell us our turkey was done. Why? Well, because you have to make sure it's done on the inside. What do you think about that? Why do you have to make sure it's done on the inside? Because you can't cook it unless it's cooked all the way. I mean, you can't eat it. <laughs> what do you think? But I can't eat it. Yeah, we can eat it now. It's going to rest just a minute. Then we can eat it. Why is it going to rest? Well, that way all the juices get in real good. Just hot. Hot, 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 hot. Did you touch it? I did. Why? <laughs> One way to tell that it's done is if the legs move. Good. See how good they move? Okay, we're going to let it rest. Then, are these the bones? They are the legs. And they do have bones in them, yes.